Wow, 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 wow. Okay, man, eventually, you know, <laughs> Antia usually is a little more like a scale for smile. Hmm. Is this it? Or heart as or... flesh unto verb. Wow, 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 wow. As verb unto heart. As heart unto flesh. Wow, oh, wow, wow, wow. Death's knot is unsevered, and I shall cut it. Yeah, I think he's doing one of the rituals that we need to do for Red's beloved Antia. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, wow, 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 wow. You! No! No! You were not supposed to! Oh, dear Lord. I thought this guy or the skeleton was big. Come to me, Ruth. Possessed. Come to me, my love. Wow, Franklin, you came at a good time, brother. Or, I mean, maybe you've been here? Anyway, I appreciate you, man. I just want to say thank you for the sub. Thank you for the sub. Caleb Watson invoked a ghost without a body for it to inhabit, so it took his. Caleb is no longer Caleb. Oh, damn. You got the. Is he still in there? You got the wrong ghost. You got the wrong ghost, too. He used pieces of his wife and also of his brother. Ruth, yeah. Alexander, Caleb could be any combination of them in there. Let's go find out which. Uh oh. All I know is Caleb is sus hey, yeah. And I don't know if we get the chance to melt him, we are gonna melt that ass because he's creepy as fuck. He's just creepy as F. We're we heading this way? Be melting a fool right now too. So, it really came in a good time. This is a good time. Bread, good story. That's part of the main questicle. Main questicle. You know that right there. You know main oh, questicle well. stuff. We gotta go to the local cobbler. That's right, the shoemeister. Hush now. Oh, there he goes. Well. Nothing bad will ever come to us again. <laughs> I have come for you, Caleb. Your soul is mine. mine. <laughs> come to me. Shite off. No, 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 no. Your soul is. We've been to God's Acre. Mine. Quite a tale it told us. You're not Caleb, are you? Or at least not entirely. Ah, it's home. Can't it's home. fog you. Alexander Watson. Long tale short, Caleb tried to bring his dead wife back. And I live here now. So many questions. Damn, we, we just got start? bamboozled a little bit. Mm. So here, man, just to fill you in and wrap your head around this craziness so this is caleb's body but his brother alexander ran some sort of spiritual stuff and now is possessed in his brother's body hmm wow 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 so it's not really caleb who is the bad doer it's his evil brother who's dead that's possessed his brother so Hmm. Now I wanted to melt him because I thought this was Caleb and I was just going to say, look at you're an evil son of a bitch. So you got to go. I was going to give him the hiya -ya thing. You know what I'm saying? Poof, be gone. But hmm, now I might have to let him live the Caleb meat bag and the biological aspect of it and then send Alexander to the Neverlands. Banished. Do you share Caleb's body? Let's go. Let's go. Do both of you share Caleb's body? Share? <laughs> no. 
This house of flesh is mine. But because I am a generous man, I allow my brother to live in the cellar. We were twins. I was the rotten half, they said. But who's the rotten Damn, half? Damn, wow, my head is like spinning, you guys. It was like, what? Man. Say what? True, true. What the hell do we got going on here, man? This is crazy. He this was trying crazy. to bring his wife back. How it's did crazy. you end up in the mix? Caleb made a fine cobbler, a poor brother, a worse husband, and a truly terrible witch. The ritual <laughs> went to shite because, of course, he did. <laughs> This guy's really There's something else evil. you should know. Evil. If you don't know it already. Whatever. I'm not alone. I completed the ritual. My darling Ruth is in here too. Holy shit, man. This is some crazy stuff, dude. This is crazy. So uh, from a physical, I might be a little off here, but from a physical perspective, we have Caleb. But from a spiritual um, perspective, we have Alexander and Ruth. Now, see, Caleb in the real world, IRL, um, was in love with Ruth. Obviously, in, uh, Caleb and Alexander were brothers. We just found out that they're twins. So, yoink. Uh, anyhow, that's a feel like a Scooby-Doo episode. Um, yoink, Scooby. Um, anyhow. Damn, 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 does Caleb deserve this? Let's get, we gotta enlighten ourselves a little bit. We do, we have to enlighten ourselves. I'm sorry. Caleb was no saint, but this is hellish grim. True. Does he deserve it? The wicked. Aye, he does. And it's not like I killed him. He's alive in here somewhere. Watching me ruin his name. He can hear me now. Destroying his reputation. Alexander's toast. As I had to hear Alexander him destroy toast. mine okay. when he painted me a fornicator. Oh, nice. And he took our love. You were a drunkard. Ruth and she mine and killed Alexander him. was. Now our love's reborn and he can do naught but sit and watch. Caleb was a cat. Shite on him. Let Caleb him suffer. Hmm. You, sir. You, sir, are a prat. Indeed, sir. A wanker of lord like proportions. Easy. So, as it sits right now, Alexander is going to be toast. I, I do think this is Caleb's physical body. Inside there is still Caleb. So, maybe we'll be able to send. But. Oh, we have to kill the living. Oh, no. Bugger all. Because we need human essence, essence to um, resurrect Antia, his Red's love of his life and stuff, nearly, who died trying to save him. Anyway, wow, 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 man, too much, too much. You died trying to save Ruth from a bonding house. True. 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 Where was Caleb? This is a good. And let's see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's an awful way to go. Bub, bub. But hmm. we really need to find out which one of the males, Alexander or Caleb, is going into the afterlife. But at the same time, we can only send them as long as it benefits Antio. So. And where was Caleb while all this was happening? He was That's there. Crazy, dude. Crazy. He stood rooted in place, frozen in fear. And then it was too late. He could do nothing but watch us burn. Caleb's name was ruined then. We're just putting the boot in. Ah. You used the ritual to bring Ruth's spirit into Caleb's body. We're just doing this, man. Why? Love moves a soul to strange endeavors. We deserve a better life. I set myself to claiming it. This is true. You failed. You failed, dude. 
I know you've failed, right? Look at yourself. Smell yourself. You can't live a life in that state. That's my never mind, not yours. If you don't like the smell, you can shite off. I'll not make our lives your business. Mm. I'd like to hear this from Ruth. May I please speak with her? No! We've carved ourselves out a little happiness at last. I don't think I'll so. not have you break it. I think he's holding her hostage. Please! I think he's holding Leave her hostage. Leave us alone. Give oh. us this. We need to speak to her, one way or another. If he won't tell us anything, perhaps the house Ruth died in will. Damn, I thought, I thought this was it. I thought this was the moment. They're making us run around and go do some more shite, as that guy would say. I'll be leaving you alone for now. Alone? <laughs> Not really. This guy is Hush creepy now. AF. All is well. Nothing bad will ever come to us again. I don't think so, buddy. I don't think so. Uh, the shoemaker, the shoemaker's wife, and the shoemaker's brother at war and trapped together inside Caleb Watson's body. It is like a damn Scooby-Doo mystery. Ruth and Alexander are having an affair in her husband's body. It's just plain wrong, man. I can't find an angle with that. Isn't just plain wrong? Something feels wrong. Something about Ruth. If we find the ghost tie, we can talk to her. Walcott's job. I don't think it's. Bless you, the man. And not walk. Yeah, we'll get to him. We'll get to him. Something has me. Wards. Wards. Okay. I don't think it's in here in this one. Let's see where this voice thing's coming from. Got a locked chest. Of hope. Because, I mean, she did burn. This is a King James Bible. Church. King James Bible. I'm gonna accidentally 100% that damn thing. Um, as far as getting King James Bible collectibles. Very strange. Very strange. The indeed. ungodly shall not be able to stand. I don't know in if I'm judging man. Neither I don't have shall the sinners stand in the congregation of I'll the see. righteous. Mr. Bachelor. Is this the right one? No. Dang it, Tub. I must good. take my leave of you, sir. Good day. God keep you, for I shall not. God keep you, for I shall not. So it's not this dude's house. Holy bananas, Batman. We gotta go up the stairs. This is our house. What about you, madam? Good day, sir. Good madam? day, uh, madam. Mistress, Lucy Barrow, the alewife. Mm, Red McGrath, the banisher. Alewife, is it? I never have guessed from looking at you. And what does an alewife look like, Mr. Banisher? Mm. She's got you there. Uh oh. Uh, what's the word around here? Show me your wares. Tell me about your work. Tell me about yourself, about your work. What are you, the census taker? I could be. I'm Lucy Barrow. Especially if it I'm means. I'm earnest, proud, clever. Take your life. I'm a widow of 41. My husband and I ran a tavern in England. I was the brains, he was. Something. Well, he was there. And if you call me Widow Barrow, I'll fetch my shears and dock your chestnuts. What brought you to New Eden? Freedom. Prosperity. The chance to watch good Puritan men drink till they are sick, even as they fill my purse. And chestnuts. Hmm. I came for chestnuts. 
Okay. Good day to you, madam. I'll take my leave of you for now. Have a good day, sir. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think she's part of another story. I can't believe that we're not finding um where this Ruth gal's house is. No, nope, that's not gonna let me shoot. Hmm. Now the King James Bible. Let's talk to the governor real quick. Yep. Governor. May I help you, Mr. McCraith? Nope. I'll take my leave Nothing off you, new. Governor. Nothing new. Mr. McCraith. Good day, do you sir? Yeah, that's I think we glitched something um because now the characters are all zoomed up. It's a good thing this game's got a uh, really good graphic. Oh, it's the pond down. The roof fell in with them inside. There's a lot of debris. Hmm. Can't switch her. And she would find this stuff lickety split. So gotta find a way up in there. Me thinks. Me thinks. Like I guess how it didn't ring a bell to me, man, that actually uh you know, they did burn down in the house. Hey, man. What a... Oh. There's this. So really strange. Because... Um, there is, you know, items, collectibles in there. So we're missing something somehow. As far as a way to get inside. As far as a way to get inside. Very strange, dude. Hmm. Maybe. Down through there, maybe. Let me go see. It really got us uh, running around, chasing our tail a little bit. Not gonna lie. So and this was like one of the first houses we looked at. Wards, oh. you're on your own. Yeah. The Bottles. ghost wards feel far away from here. Just one keeps me from manifesting. Fancy knocking it down? So, hmm, that's new. I don't know what that is right there. That's a little weird. So, is there a ward in here? A ghost ward? We're looking, y'all. We're looking. I'm really trying to shake and bake on this one. Take a peek around the corner here. Yoink. There we go. I'm with you once more. She's with us. Hey, okay, awesome. We're working. We're shaking. We're baking. Okay. Officially cannon powder. Okay. I think uh, we might have got it. Might have got it this time, you guys. Might have got it. Might have got it. Let's go, let's go. Yoink. Get up inside here. Come on, red. I really want to see the conclusion of this story with this dude. This poor guy has got two different spirits living inside of him. I've never seen a birdcage out here. It's very weird. Okay, this wagon looks like it goes there. Let's it, see if we can <clears throat> push it to there. Oh, it also opens up that right there. Okay, that's good. Okay, let's go ahead and sneak in here real quick. Oh, wow. Okay. That didn't quite go as planned, huh? Woo, chill, 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 Red. Getting all excited. Gonna let the dog out the house. Note. Uh, Bruce, burnt journal. Uh, Caleb and I had another discussion this morning. I went walking and caught him sobbing in the garden when I came back. He apologized and I took that badly too. 
Uh, he's kind of romantic and listens well, which is why I married him. She married? Caleb, huh? But I am sometimes uncomfortable. He is my husband, and I am his wife. A woman to be loved, and not an icon to be worshipped. Fascinating. Fascinating. So, she was married to Caleb. But she was sleeping with his brother. Oh, wow, wow, wow. You know, and that's... The thing. Um... That's a thing. That is a thing. Why would it have me jump across there like that? I don't know. Okay. Maybe this is the only way you can get down to this section. Possible. Mm, Time must be nearby. Those seagulls are crazy. Okay, let's see. Something. Okay, that way. Oh, I see. You gotta go. We have to go back outside to get into that room there. That's fine. Let's, I think we. Is it just me or? I felt it too. Oh, the invisible. Okay, let me. Um. Okay, we gotta do this, just in case it pertains to the questicle situation. Because now that we move the cart outside, we can lean down and crawl into the hole over here. Picking up something spectral nearby. True, true. Like this chesticle. It's very spectral. Okay. We're doing good job. We're doing good. We're working this. We are working this. Let's go, go, go. Hmm. I was just a uh, wall climbing. Something's concealed. True. He caught that here? Okay. Well, when there's something green that's for Atya. Bugger all this thing. Whew. Got me again. Got me again. We have to break. Um. Yeah, that breakable wall. Before we can get through here. Anyway. What is lurking here? Time to work, Banisher. Hmm. That's some green... Like, smoke. There we go. Let's remove this. Ah, oh, Ruth Watson's heart. A withered human heart. It once belonged to Ruth Watson. Uh, this tie is doused with the essence of a ghost. Once the closure has severed the ghost's bond to the world, this essence will be automatically consumed by Antia to make her stronger. And that's what we Of we're... course. Ruth's heart binds them like a bushel of rotting corn. Hmm. Okay, that'll just allow us to exit out that way. Okay. Let's see what we got here. Uh, a beautiful homemade illustrated compendium of the birds of New Eden, complete with feathers found to match the drawings. Complete? Not quite. Uh, two pages are missing. Feathers. A bone breaker, crow, and a herring gull. Oh. This one shows real sensitivity. Caleb? Maybe. Not Alexander. I suspect we've just learned a little you. about Ruth. What do you have there? Stop right there, you rank rump! Oh, wow. whatever you found, came to us. it ain't yours. You buried Ruth's heart in the ashes of the house that killed her. Maybe, I find maybe. that odd. You, a ghost, went digging in the ashes of a dead woman's house. You're ill-positioned to call me odd. 
Don't think I haven't felt your presence before. Mm. Stow your tongue while I speak with Ruth. Ooh. Ruth, can you hear me? Can you speak? Puck off and die! I'm in charge here! Oh, no! Man. Hush ye, Alexander. I'll speak. It's happening, yo. I'm Ruth. I hear you. I'm Antea Duarte. We're here to help. Oh, I'm glad. Please, end this nightmare. Help me. Oh, go Help to hell, me. you pack of shite. We're fine. And you have not the right, you hear? You've not the right. Oh, anyways. Do the ritual. Uh, make Ruth Watson manifest. What if I talk to this? You guy? again. Hi. What's the word around here? He'll find out. I'll be leaving you alone for now. <laughs> alone? <laughs> Not really. We're good with you, Sue. We gotta perform the manifestation ritual. Gotta be heart! Give it back! No. No, sir. We are gonna set her free. We are gonna burn you to a crisp, sir. For you. Show yourself and oh, join me now. Wanka. No more does he silence me. We may speak. Mm -mm. No more. So this is Caleb, huh? Okay, I'm, I'm wondering what Auntie is doing. Me. Please. Yes. We taught Caleb. Who taught Caleb the ritual? About Caleb's letter. Um. What's the word around here? Kappa. So that's Antia. Who taught? No, no, no. About Caleb's letter. Damn, I hope that's Caleb's the right one. Caleb's changed your life. How did it feel at the time? It tore me in two. I loved Alexander. But I deserved to marry a man who would be true. Caleb seemed decent. I, I believed he loved me. I thought I'd married the better brother. But I'd married a liar. A hmm. liar and a devil. And yet, not even he deserves this. No one deserves this. How did Caleb treat you? The two were married. When did you uncover the lie? When did you learn that Caleb had lied to you about his brother's infidelity? Who goes worse shod than the shoemaker's wife? See? There was no one moment. One day I knew what he'd done, and knew I'd known it for the longest time. Alexander had his flaws, but he loved the whole of me. Now I'm sewn into a festering sack with the quivering remnants of my husband now and the angry Ruth. ghost of his dead brother. Please, let me out. Okay, we get both sides. Okay, okay, okay. Because sometimes you get to pick one. And then however that uh, dialogue tree unfolds, that's what you get. And you're like, ah, uh, Shiza, should have picked the other one. But no, we don't have Who to. Who taught Caleb the resurrection ritual? To say it was taught would mean he'd learned it. He read it off a page. As a sorcerer, Caleb makes a fine cobbler. Thing about Caleb, he was a good listener. As he worked, clients would bend his ear. The Haskell boy, for one. As Caleb pinned the governor's shoes, mm. young Lammy would talk magic. N nonsense, really. But Caleb was listening. Ooh, Lammy. Lammy Haskell. Always the quiet one. So Lammy Haskell is the son of the governor, who's kind of like the whole colony. Um, and, um... Yeah, the governor also is like self-proclaimed 
pastor that preaches and so on and so forth. Amy Haskell. Uh, that's seriously. Yoink. Wait. We Lammy Haskell gave Caleb the resurrection ritual. After Lammy mentioned the ritual, Caleb became obsessed with it. Really? He begged. Lammy, in his misplaced generosity, gave it. Caleb was intent on dark work. Lammy furnished written instructions. Here it comes, y'all. See, this, we had a 50-50. But I was curious about Lammy Haskell because I'm like the whole demonic plague that's running rampant through New Eden. Um, anyway, it's time to do it, y'all. It's time. Ruth. Your husband Caleb's botched resurrection ritual brought you back, but allowed his brother Alexander to take you hostage. Right, the creepy. Once we deal with the Watson brothers, you shall be free to ascend. Do what you must. I'll suffer it if it leaves me free to go. No! We can stay. Please, Ruth, let us stay. No. Look at you. Your counterfeit, a sham of a thing. Your so-called life is no life at all. Caleb lied and stole your love. But when the time was right, you lied and stole his body. We're ending this nonsense now. True, true. There it is, y'all. We're going to... Banish Alexander. Yes. Alexander's the creepy dude. So, because Caleb... Yeah, Caleb is the physical form. Alexander, even though Caleb brought, Caleb wanted to bring Ruth spirit back with him and live with her, but accidentally got his brother too. So now it's all making sense. And Caleb actually, uh, the governor's son, uh, Lammy, gave him the resurrection ritual and he botched it. And so anyway, so we're good. We're good. And Alexander's still a uh, creepy son of God because he's still, even if Ruth wanted it, um, slept with his brother's wife. He can't do that. So it's done. Judgment has been cast. You are voted off the island. Good day to you, sir. Alexander, yours is no romantic fable. There is no moral to this tale. You're a hostage taker. Nothing more. Sure. No, Caleb can go to hell, for he well deserves it. But no, no, Ruth no, no. and I are in love. Greedy men fight over a woman as if she were a thing. I'm done it's with that story. Yeah, it's Time on. to tell a better tale. Ruth is free to go. True. I shall have my rest now. Thank you. There we go, there we go. There is nothing for you. Tweeting. Just need a big ass giant rainbow to kind of pop up in the background. Yeah, 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 yeah. And let's see what kind of person, because we saw the person he was before, but how is he now? Have you seen the right of your ways? Am I speaking with the cobbler, Caleb Watson? Not you, Caleb. I, I, I think. Uh, yes, that's me. Or it, it was me, once. For my bastard brother was my hollow keeper. You're not entirely innocent, though. If you'll permit the unfortunate expression, there was more than one of you in it. My brother deserved damnation, and you gave it to him. I am an imperfect man, but, uh, but if you're considering the same for me, I'll not go without a fight. I too am an imperfect man. Have mercy and patience in limited supply. Let's not test those limits further, eh? Wow, 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 wow. Hmm. Interesting.
actually you know what happens though we didn't we didn't actually uh oh uh oh uh oh uh oh i can't believe this man i can't believe this we'll try to fast forward to this because mm, i should do the gameplay too so we can bounce right back to it because i think um suspect this okay this one shows real sensitivity caleb maybe not alexander i oh, suspect damn. we've just learned a little about ruth i forgot to take that missed that one because that is the dichotomy the dilemma if you will Ew. what do you have there we have to kill the living stop right God. there you rank rump Crap. whatever you found it ain't yours you buried Ruth's heart in the ashes of the house that killed her I find that odd you a we ghost went digging in the ashes of a dead woman's house you're ill positioned to call nice. me odd nice. Don't Can't think we talk I haven't over felt your presence before. Stow your tongue while I speak with Ruth. Ruth, can you hear me? Can you speak? Pock off and die. I'm in charge here. No. Hush ye, Alexander. Getting some stutter I'll there, speak. Uh, best? I'm Ruth. I hear you. I'm Antea Duarte. We're here to help. Huh. I'm glad. Please, end this nightmare. Help me. Look, go to hell in a bag of shite. We're fine. And you have not the right, you hear? You've not the right. Okay, we gotta actually take this one from the top. A roadie. Because... Yeah, I think we have to kill the living. I think we have to order. kill the living. I think it might be. Yeah, in order to... Um... Sorry, y'all. Let's do this. Yeah, in order to um, send her uh, on the way um, to resurrect Antio. So, sending the evil bastard um, and banishing him, sending him was the way. Um, her heart! <laughs> Give it back! No. No, 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 no. Okay. Yoink. Yeah, I'll uh, skip through this stuff. Just every once in a while? Okay. Thanks. Baby me got him. So it's looking. It says actually excellent. No more does he silence me. We may speak. All right, man. Yeah, that's because I'm resurrecting Antia, and in order to resurrect her, I have to kill the innocents. Help me, please. Um, we have gotta go through. Who one more taught time. Caleb the resurrection ritual? To say it was taught would mean he'd learned it. He read it off a page. As a sorcerer. Caleb, think about oh, we Caleb. Go. We can skip the Haskell boy. Uh, it's always the quiet ones. Lammy Haskell gave Caleb the resurrection ritual. I should have known. Always watch out for the quiet ones. After Lammy mentioned the ritual, Caleb became obsessed with it. He begged. Lammy, in his misplaced generosity, gave it. Caleb was intent on dark work. Lammy furnished written instructions. Yoink. Caleb's letter changed your life. How did it feel at the time? It tore me in two. I loved Alexander. But Where's I deserved to marry a man who would be true. Caleb seemed decent. I, I believed he loved me. Mm -mm. I thought I married the better brother. But I'd married a liar. A liar and a devil. <sighs> and yet, not even he deserves this. No one deserves this. 
How did Caleb treat you? When did you uncover the lie? I think we did this one. We'll do this one now. When did you learn that Caleb had lied to you about his brother's infidelity? Who goes worse shod than the shoemaker's wife? There was no one moment. One day I knew what he'd done and knew I'd known it for the longest time. Alexander had his flaws, but he loved the whole of me. Now I'm sewn into a festering sack with the quivering remnants of my husband and the angry ghost of his dead brother. Please, let me out. Time to bring closure. Okay, this time we're going to flip the script where actually uh, it helps Antia to be resurrected uh, later. She gets to drink the, the juice of um, the essence that's going to be required. But of course, we got to be evil SOBs because we have to um, kill the innocents. Ruth, so, your husband Caleb's botched resurrection ritual brought you back, but allowed his brother Alexander to take you hostage. Once we deal with the Watson brothers, you shall be free to ascend. Do what you must. I'll suffer it if it leaves me free to go. No! We can stay! Right. Please, Ruth. Bananas. Let us stay. Look at you. Creepy You're writing. counterfeit. A sham of a Good thing. Story. Your so-called life is no life at all. Caleb lied and stole your love. But when the time was right, you lied and stole his body. We're ending this nonsense now. And, you know, she was sleeping with his brother, even though she did marry him. So, let's see. Um... Ascend. Um, you gently let the ghost ascend from this. Uh, this decision will contribute to, and see we don't. And this one contributes. So, even though Caleb truly is the innocent party, this decision will contribute to Antia's resurrection. And so, therefore, we must. It was the right call to do this one, and I wanted to see how that storyline would play out. But now we're back to what we need to do is in order to resurrect so we got to send this poor sob off who's alive the living to be deaded so he is deaded dead dead deaded good day to you sir caleb Boy. watson your past saving. we need her back we can but grant you the Antia mercy back. of oblivion but, but what about me what about ruth Ruth is free to go. I shall have my rest now. Thank you. Wow, 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 wow. Here it comes again, y'all. Here it comes again. This time with a living body. True, true. See you, buddy. Damn, death. And this time it's... Antia's turn to drink up. Suck in the essence. No, 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 yet. I was winning. I was winning. Got it all, man. This one, you get it all. You just get it all. Awesome sauce. It is awesome sauce. Let's see you, brother, man. See you, brother man. That's uh, how it rolls. That's how it rolls. <laughs>